just returning to Australian rugby for a second, is the tents. Like we, we all know that Quade Cooper and James O'Connor were the guys that, that were taken on the end of season spring tour. Eventually, Noel all he gets caught up. But there are a lot of young tens here in Australian rugby. Once we all looked across the ditch in New Zealand and thought, far out, there's so many tens over there. Where's one in Australia? Um, you know, they all seem like they're either side of 30. Uh, now that there's six, seven youngsters who are the ages of 20, 21, 22, who are all really talented in Australian rugby that are going to be wearing the 10 jersey this year. That's what I'm most looking forward to from an Australian rugby perspective. Who, who takes the number 10 jersey? Who adds to it? Who puts pressure on Nella Lucia um, to perhaps become the next 10, young 10 that will probably be playing behind Quade Cooper? Okay, well, let's go through them then, Christy. Obviously, we've, we've seen quite a bit of them at the Waratahs in uh, both Will Harrison and, and and Ben Donaldson. And, and Harrison kind of ended up more in that fullback role last year, which seemed to work um, reasonably well for them. Uh, a bit of talk, he may still wind up there yet. Waratahs haven't quite settled yeah. on their fullback. Um, Brumbies, of course, Lola Seo. Uh, we know his story from last year. Um, and then Melbourne Rebels, uh, Carter Gordon, which we kind of got a couple of really nice glimpses of in Trans-Tasman last year. Um, a bigger body, which is probably a little bit or certainly taller and and listening to Kevin Foote this week saying he's actually filled out a bit. He's only 21, but he's managed to put a bit of bulk on on that frame, um, of course. Uh, and then we've got Rajan Pazatoa, who's gone across to the force um, where, where Jake McIntyre is still there. Uh, I, personally, I've you know, I've never really seen what he has offered at, at Super Rugby. He hasn't been able to really step up and, and take command of that team. So will we see more of Pazitara over there? I guess, mate, to you, which of these young guys are you most excited about? Oh, I think Carter, Gordon and Rajan Pazitara. I think those two guys... Um, uh, Carter Gordon's a little bit older than Pazitara, so it wouldn't surprise me if he's caught into a Wallabies training squad at some point in time throughout the year, I don't think Rajan will get there this year, but you know, you look down to the future and you look at 25 and you look at 27 and those two aren't that far, far away. It's five years away. Really. Like it's not, it's not that far away. And, and when similarly, potentially they're, they're going to be in the, you know, the absolute or prime of their careers. Absolutely. And, you know, Tom Lyon is another one. We know that he had a couple of good touches and we know that, He's a, he's a name. Sam Cordingley just the other day, straight on the blower, straight messaging his old man Michael immediately yes. after the game. Fair so, pedigree there. Fair pedigree, and he's got silkiness about him. I think Carter Gordon, um, something that Nick Styles told me just before a week or two ago was that he's got quite long arms. And there's a little bit of Stephen Larkham about him um, and what he yep. can do. Um Rajar Pasato, he led an Australian side to a New Zealand school boys victory over the New Zealand schools just two years ago. And, you know, he was probably third choice 10 at the Brumbies two years ago where Noel Lolosio was there, but Rajan's 17 at the time. Um, very young. He's got a real opportunity. Um, he's coming with Bailey Quinzel as well as Isaac Fiennes to to uh, the Western Force. Now, they've got a, a relationship. They've been playing alongside each other for two years. It's not like they've come out of and they're playing alongside a new halfback. Uh, there, there's some things that you can be really encouraged by. Um, ben Donaldson, from what I'm hearing, is the favourite and will probably play at 10 for the Waratahs. Another guy who plays flat at the line and just has a real natural ability about him. There's a lot to be excited about these guys. Really, it's going to probably come down to which board pack can dominate and get them some quick ball because we know that that's what you need as a 10. 